Obviously this one is 700 PSI. It's used for cleaning portable toilets mm -hmm. so that you know they don't have to bring a bucket and hand wash and, and get in there and spend all that time. This quickly makes it more quick, shortens the period of time for them to clean mm -hmm. the bathrooms. Goes up about 700 PSI. Obviously, you can do the inside. Mm -hmm. Clean the whole thing up. Yeah. And it has an loader on it, so when they're not spraying, it's running very low amps mm -hmm. and not wasting a lot of power and not wasting any water. So that's our 700 psi porta potty cleaning unit. Excellent. This would be another option to that. It would be a higher volume. This is actually an X6, which is, we have one that's an X5 that we use for portable toilets that you can use for cleaning them and also for filling them. You just shut off, take the gun off, open a valve, and then fill it, and you can fill five gallons a minute in one minute. So then they don't have to carry buckets around and pour buckets into each porta potty. This is a six gallon a minute. It's just one more gallon a minute than the porta potty unit that we have. That's six gallons a minute, but not a lot. I show the, the distance here. So that can get two stories, Raleigh, probably? It goes up about, the building's about 25 feet, so that's, we're going up about 25 feet. Okay, nice so even spray. Six gallons a minute. Advantage of the X-Series, obviously, you you're getting the higher flows. So you can actually put down a lot of product if you're doing something that you need to do flooding. Mm -hmm. like six gallons a minute for it. This pump is the animal. And that's the one that obviously they're talking about, you know, utilizing in those uh, boom sprayers yes, for egg yes. applications. Yeah, it's surprising when you try it too. Yeah. I mean, yeah. especially when you consider a yeah. lot of those are, are, okay, are so engine you know, driven. Yep, yeah, it's, it's a nice straight. alternative to Absolutely. the gas engine. The advantage engine. to all these is you can go into a you know gated community in the morning, early morning, and not make any noise. Right. You know, it's where you start up an engine that Absolutely. makes a lot of noise. And that's available that in a DC, a DC uh, motor this, as well. Or yeah, is this is a DC. Right that's okay. why I have a converter. I see on the it, inverter. So. Okay. So this is running off of this is a uh, 50 amp DC. Okay. And that max flow you said is six? But this one is like six. You, you have the range from six all the way down to three in the end. Then you can change the cams to right. get different flows too. Okay. And this is the 114 that we were rebuilding yesterday. Mm -hmm. Showing you how to rebuild it, I guess. This is one gallon a minute, and we can go up to 200 PSI on this. Mm -hmm. Generally, we spray around 100 with these. Got the bypass to prime. Mm -hmm. This will go up probably the 20, 25 feet too. So. Okay. And then again, you have the, you can open up the spray too. But you're only doing one gallon a minute with this. And again, the 114 is good for chemicals. Yeah. So again, with any of our pumps, you know, I mean, you're going to get the full PSI and you're not going to lose any flow. That's a yeah. key component of that. Mm -hmm. So versus a diaphragm pump, for example, Raleigh, what happens with the diaphragm pump? Well, the diaphragm pump, as soon as you start putting pressure to the pump, you're losing a lot of your flow. A lot of the flow is going away. So if you have 300 feet of hose on this with a diaphragm pump, by the time you get to the end of the, you know, and you're, where you're spraying, dribbling. you've lost a lot of your right. pressure. Not to mention you're killing it, too. With these pumps, like... you might lose 20, you know, 20 PSI. That's great. That's great. And yeah, you start putting pressure against that diaphragm, and it's just inherent in all of them. And, and you, you, yeah. uh, you supply it with the tank as part of a, as an entire package? Uh, we do not, no. We just supply pumps. Okay, so this is... No, no yeah, we want to be able so to provide that assembly. In. Yeah, this drop-in assembly comes all plumbed up like this, so you can just put it on okay. a tank and then just run your hoses. And... Okay. That would be just uh, you know, when we were talking about the, you know, the road salt and the brine. Mm -hmm. um, you know, application. That's very, very similar to where they're using a tank, just like that, a plastic tank, it isn't about that size. You know, if it's gonna be on a smaller, you know, uh, a vehicle, or, you know, obviously a pickup truck would be a little bit bigger. 
but um, that would be ideal. The only thing that I would recommend because of the calcium chloride is that the pump would be mounted you know, below the tank so it would stay flooded yeah. and you wouldn't have a chance for any of it. That's too, much uh, better for this pump. Too. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I mean, if it's if it's relatively clean and it doesn't you know, crystallize when it dries, so you're, you're in perfect shape. But that right there would be very, very close to what you would see um, in that, you know, the, the road. Yeah. Know, salt and calcium chloride. One thing we haven't used them much in, I think that's, you know, the, something we can move into is everybody has toy haulers, four wheelers, mm -hmm. you know, throw this tank in the front of their toy hauler. When they're done at the end of the day, they can rinse the machines off before they, you know, because people have fancy trailers now and they don't want to put their big muddy machine inside the fancy trailer. Exactly. So this would be a nice setup for just, you know, rinse them off a little bit. So oh, they're not so filthy when they pull them in their trailer. We'll wash down. All right, what's next, Raleigh? Next is our misting unit. Basically, we have this one set up at a dust suppression. Um, well, this works for misting, mm -hmm. mist cooling, right. evaporative cooling at 1,000 PSI. At 300 PSI, it works really well for dust suppression, knocking the dust down and keeping the workers safe on the job site. Mm -hmm. So this is our misting pump. It does about a quarter gallon a minute. And you can go anywhere from 1,000 down you know, 300 whatever you'd like to use it at, depending on the application. Again, so the advantage on this one, if you have multiple nozzles, I mean, mm -hmm. 80 nozzles, right, yeah. um, that uh, you, know, you can get that pressure out to all of but those different of them, nozzles. Yeah. So you get a much, much larger square footage, for sure. example. Uh, so specifically in that evaporative cooling, you're mm -hmm. covering a larger area. Right. That, you know, I want to turn this on. The mist was kind of going yep. to come okay. towards you guys, so just it shouldn't get you wet. But but that's uh, that fine then. It's nice for cooling. Yeah. Right now we're running at a thousand, so this is generally what it would be for evaporative cooling. At times. The nozzles are a little bit big. These are number six nozzles, so they're a little bit wetter. Right. If you were going to do evaporative cooling, you'd nozzle down even a little bit more, so this would be even less wet. But so with evaporative this, cooling, that means that you know you're not getting the floor wet. Right. You're not exactly. getting the yeah, surface on the, it, on the it, ground. It's like a, it, it's, it, it dries right away. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's, that's the, the idea. Great. I have this on my deck at home and. Yeah, I sit there in the live chair and just stay cool and it does very well. I see you publish a, a table that, that, that shows, you know, for number of nozzles, you know, what the, the size of the flow and the, the pressure required. Yeah, and that's a great tool. Yeah, that's and you can do quite tool. a few nozzles, even at the quarter gallon a minute, this does quite a few nozzles. Oh, yeah. That is quick. Yeah. Nice mist. And that's without a fan. Yeah, even with a the fan, then it, it you know, widens that hole. Keeps it drier even, yeah. yeah. So this would be a good miss probably for a fan, having that ring right in front of the fan. Oh, yeah. This is, uh, this is what we use mainly in pest control spraying. Mm -hmm. This is 2.8 gallons a minute at 150 PSI. Mm -hmm. So through an 06 nozzle on a JD9 gun, mm -hmm. it drops down to about 110 when they're spraying. More it's sufficient. a perfect sprayer for what they need for pest control. So 80835. 80835. And this is just a tank that we get from yeah. Rhino. These are available if someone has a function for those. Yeah. yeah. And start it and bypass. Could be some vibration from the tank there. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, this is, is, 
Is that that's yeah. the only reason it was a little bit louder? This is the worst scenario for noise because it's telegraphing it from all these surfaces. Right. And this will be shut in a lot of cases. Yeah, and this is a real soft surface, so it has yeah. lots of vibration. Here, hang on to this. This is a good cell point. It's letting it keep flashing. Hold on. Let's see what the power is. Francis, go out there. I'll see if I can get you. <laughs> Do it drive, Rossin. So I mean the reoccurring theme on, on all of these different pump designs, I mean it's kind of the right pressures and flow for the job. Right. You know, one thing we didn't mention when we were uh, showing the portable sanitation unit, um, one of the things that, that you'll see often these operators do mm -hmm. is they'll use way too much PSI. And so they're in there and they're cleaning the toilet. And what right. happens to get this, because they're using like a blue chemical that they use, you know, the soap, it comes, creates this big plume, yeah. you know, yeah. and you end up, uh, you know, wearing it right. versus, you look, you look like a versus cleaning it. And so. nobody wants to wear away your clean no. up. Yeah, no. absolutely. Well, that is, uh, that's, that's really smart. So nice job, Raleigh. This is a nice little lineup of uh, our products, obviously. Absolutely. Is there any Some good demos? That, that you guys have right offhand? No, really. I mean, outside, and I realize I mean, you're selling it. The, the pump and the assembly. You mentioned that you have access to this, or you're selling it this way, or is this something customers well, buy? Well, this tank is available to us. Yeah. And then these are the drop-in assemblies. This comes with this regulator, this hose, this right thing, and then. It disconnects right there and it disconnects. Oh, okay, so this is a quick disconnect. Here. Right, so yeah, it disconnects basically right here. That's a full drop in assembly. You can drop it right in the tank and be yeah, off and nice. running. You know, all you'd have to do is plumb that in, yeah. run that to your reel or your gun, and then do your electrical. I mean, yeah, you can't get it any simpler. I mean, and we do have these things available too if you want to put the switches right on the, mm -hmm. the motor. So, we in, in exhibiting this unit at some trade shows mm -hmm. you talked about DEF yeah right it's a great tank for that oh well, bad yeah so and it comes in like a hundred it comes about this tall this yeah. tall and then there's, there's another one that's even taller I can't remember the breakdowns and I think it's 80 100 and 150 right. or something Standard like that size for so there's some nice breakdowns but I mean again you got the pallet yeah these are also stackable you know? tanks so you could have Okay. Three different chemicals, and you know, one pump running off each one if you want. Know. Okay. Oh, that is really I'm gonna turn off the camera. Thanks for watching.